Hey guys, and welcome to this brand new, a bit more serious video. Today, we're going to talk about the COPPA law that recently has been introduced to YouTube. I am going to tell you so much in this video, so it's really important to pay attention and to watch this video till the end so you get the full picture of what this new law is and how it will affect YouTube.com. So yeah, in case you want to know more about YouTube's future and possibly even my channel's future, then keep on watching. First of all, I want to explain to you what COPPA means. COPPA stands for Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, and the name says it all. This new law imposed by the European Union is to protect children online and basically protect their privacy in general. Some of you guys may know COPPA as Article 13 from last year. There was a lot of drama surrounding that, and I even spoke up about it multiple times on Instagram and the European European Union has decided to come through and impose the COPPA law. So let's talk about how this is going to affect YouTube. A few days ago, YouTube started sending out emails to millions of content creators telling us that the new COPPA law has been introduced to YouTube and that they've created a system for it. This new system is actually quite simple and easy to understand, but it does have a huge impact on a lot of content creators, if not all. I'm definitely going to get into what major impact this new system will have on creators, but before we do that, I think it's important to educate y'all on how this system works and how to use it. Here we are on my channel page, and in case you have a YouTube channel of your own, this part is specifically very interesting for you. So, you know, keep on watching. Right here, I have the settings for my latest video, A Brand New Race, Happy Horse Week and More opened. And at the bottom of the screen, you see right here, the audience setting. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this to get a clearer view because it's quite tiny, actually. This question over here says, is this video made for kids? And then under it, regardless of your location, you're legally required to comply with the Children's Online Privacy Privacy Protection Act, COPPA, and or other laws, you're required to tell us whether your videos are made for kids. If you don't select yes or no, YouTube will do this for you. So literally, there's no way that you can get around this. I have selected yes, it's made for kids because I mainly target the Star Stable audience, which very often is under 13 years old. The USA law says that a kid is defined as anyone under 13 years years old. This could be different in your country or another country, so you must pay attention to that. If you click on no, it's not made for kids, and it is wrongfully selected as no, it's not made for kids, legal action could be taken against you. So make sure you determine your audience correctly. My audience mainly is kids, so I'm going to select this one over here. Now, if you wish to not have to select, yes, it's made for kids for every single video, and you know your channel in general is made for kids, then you can also set your channel as a whole as made for kids. If you want to mark your channel as made for kids in general, all you have to do is go to YouTube Studio, click on settings, and then this window will pop up. Go to channel, go to advanced settings, and right here you can see the audience setting. You have three options here, and the one I selected, which is what is most logical for my channel, is yes, set this channel as made for kids. I always upload content that is made for kids. Then you also have no, set this channel as not made for kids. I never upload content that's made for kids. And also, I want to review this setting for every video. Now you might be wondering, what is made for kids? Well, YouTube says that to determine whether your content is made for kids or not, you should think about the subject. Is it a subject that involves children? Is it you know, anything for children. If you target an audience that is under 13 years old, well, chances are that your channel is made for kids. Do things that appeal to kids appear in your video? That could be kid celebrities, games, and so much more that is made for children. You should also consider the language you use. If you swear a lot in your videos, your videos might not be for kids. 
Obviously, this is a brand new system and therefore it's not perfect. If YouTube notices an error, abuse, or you just didn't set the audience, YouTube will do that for you. If you would keep abusing the system, legal action could be taken against you, such as a fee of more than 40 grand. I don't think you want to pay that. It doesn't necessarily need to be a fee of more than 40 grand. It could also be a punishment that complies with the COPPA law itself. It really does depend. But I also think it's important to mention that YouTube mostly relies on the content creators to decide whether content is made for kids or not. Side note, if you set your channel as made for kids in general, you won't have to do that for videos every single time you upload. So I guess that's one nice thing to say about it. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there are quite some consequences for content creators who create content that is made for kids as well as people who make content which is not for kids. The people who select their videos or their whole channel as made for kids will have some features taken away from their channel. And there are, I believe, eight features, which are all quite important in my opinion, that are gonna be taken away. First of all, the one that I really just roll my eyes at is comments. Why would you remove the comments? Honestly, I really don't get it. In my opinion, it would be better if they would implement a feature that you can use to turn off the comments if you as a parent don't want your kid to see comments. Another one is notifications. The notification bell that you are currently seeing next to my subscribe button, it will be taken away from off January 1st. This is obviously going to have a huge impact on the amount of views you will get on your videos and the amount of people that you will reach because YouTube is already having issues with putting videos in subscription boxes and taking away the notifications will have a huge impact how many people a channel will be able to reach. Also, personalized ads, which is not the main point for me, but there's many people who make a living off of YouTube and removing personalized ads could make a big difference in revenue and it's not a positive one. Info cards as well as end screens will be taken away from YouTube content that's made for kids as well. In case you're wondering what an info card is, I will let one pop up on the screen right now to my latest video. And if you watch this video till the end, you will probably also see an end screen. In an end screen, you can put links to previous videos and your channel and other creators at the end of your video. And when people click on it, they will be taken to that channel or video. And I thought back when YouTube came out with this feature that it was such an amazing feature and I loved it so much and I'm really, really sad they have to take it away now. Next, we have stories, which I don't think is that bad at all. I never really use stories anyway, because like I have Instagram for that, right? This next one is also really devastating to me, the community tab. And for those who follow my channel, you know that I post on there quite often when I have an issue with any videos. I don't have to post an extra video to let you know that there's an issue. So I always really liked the community tab and I just don't get why they're taking it away. I know that they have to to do this to comply with the law but i just don't understand this law it's so weird the last thing that also will be taken away from people who make content that is made for kids is the saving to a playlist or watch later option and those are all eight features that will be taken away from people who make content for kids let's now get into what will happen to people who make content that is not for kids youtube isn't really clear on this but i believe you get to keep these features but you won't be recommended in the kids section as much as people who make content for kids will. So what I'm taking away from this is that the people who don't make content for kids might see a decrease in revenue because they won't get recommended as much as people who do make content for kids will. Many content creators, including me, do not like COPPA and do not like this new system. And we also don't like that we won't be able to use these features that are going to be taken away from us. If you want to help us out, your favorite YouTubers and many others, then please go to the top of the description box or the top of the comment section where you will find a link to change.org. When you click on that link, you will be taken to change.org to a petition that you can sign to show 
show that you're against Kappa. I feel like this whole thing makes a lot of content creators feel powerless and we don't have anything to say over this and honestly it's just a bunch of old men deciding what we as young people have to do on YouTube and I personally just think it's ridiculous because I don't feel like they have the knowledge about YouTube and about the internet to decide something like this. The chance that we can do something against this is very small, but there still is a chance, so we want to take that. I don't want to make this seem like the end of the world because it isn't, and it's also not the end of YouTube, but I just strongly believe that this whole thing with this new law could be done so much better. So again, if you wish to help us out, go to the link at the top of the the description box or the top of the comments and sign the petition. That would be much, much appreciated. I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope that this video was very clear for you and that you understand what is going on on YouTube right now. And also, I hope you want to help us out by signing the petition. If you would like to support this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of me, which that is possible, then you can subscribe down below and also turn on your notifications for as long as that's a possibility. And yeah, I'll be back with a Star Stable video on Wednesday. We're going to buy curly horses and I'm really excited. So have a great week and until Wednesday. Bye guys!